Did I ever tell you the story on <laughs> on uh, when Blockbuster Video accused me of like breaking and entering? Um, this happened, I was like 1995. Uh, at the time, I had severe Graves' disease, which is an overactive thyroid disorder. And um, I was at home. I had to have been, I don't know if it was on a Friday or a Saturday or whenever it was. I want to say it was during the day-ish. And, uh, you know, police knocks on the door. I answer it. I've always been cool with police enforcement and all that. You know, I don't get in trouble, so I have nothing fair. And uh, they were like, you're John Riggs. I am. They said, we have reason to believe that you broke into Blockbuster Video and crawled through a window, broken window, um, and stole some merchandise. We're going to have to take you downtown. And of course, I'm like, no, <laughs> I didn't, but tell me more. And, uh, you know, they said that they have, uh, you know, um, I was um, named from somebody who watched the security footage of somebody who did that at the local Blockbuster. Um, I grew up a block away from our local, one of our main, one of our, one of our local blockbusters in town when that was a thing in the 90s and um so i was there pretty regularly and when they saw me or apparently me you know on the video they're like oh well we know that guy he comes in here all the time to rent uh video games probably so um so they came by uh police officers um asked if they could come inside and search my room i had at the time i had nothing to hide so i was like yeah sure come on in you're not gonna find anything um because i didn't steal anything of course looking back on now i would have been like you know who you need a warrant for that you know <laughs> but at the time i was like i, I got nothing to hide I was like yeah go ahead you know last uh, last room on the left right down the hallway um and they found a couple of rented games because i literally rented a couple of games the day before and um and a coat and how I was pinpointed in the video, as it turns out, was because I wore a similar coat to the person who actually did break into Blockbuster. And um, so I was like, okay, we can, you know, so our coats matched, if you can believe that. It was, it was kind of like a trench coat. It was a duster, you know, it was, you know, it was, it was the mid-90s. I thought it was cool to wear a trench coat in public, so whatever. So I was like, all right, so, um, so they took me downtown. They took me to the police station, and uh, I spoke to the detective. The detective, the very first thing, out of, the very first words out of his mouth when I got there was, um, all right, he kind of puts his, you know, has his paperwork, whatever, puts his stuff down. He's like, all right, I know you did it, and you know you did it, so if you confess now, it's going to get a lot easier for both of us. And I was like, I didn't do it. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. Um, and I forgot along, so then along the way, he just came more questioning, I was like, you know, like, could you have done it in your sleep? I'm like, what? This is ridiculous. And of course, I'm. Uh, I was, it was 95, so I was. Uh, I was 18 years old at the time. I was scared because this is the first time I've ever been to a police station. You know, being questioned for something I didn't do. Um, I was like, you know, what if I have to go to jail? I, I don't know. You know, I've never been to anything like this. I've always been a. You know, I've been a good kid in my entire life. And um, so I finally just said, like, I, can I just take a poly polygraph? I think I call it a polygrip test because I was nervous. Uh, they're like, polygraph test? You mean a polygraph test? Like a lie detector test? I was like, yeah, can I just take a lie detector test? I'll prove I didn't do it. We'll all be done with this. And that way we can get out and move on with our lives, you know? So um, so they agreed. I had to come back later on and do that. But they did show me the video. Um, they showed me the security video. And it was near the end of the video. So they were rewinding it, but they were showing it as it was rewinding. And there was a couple of screens or a couple of scenes where you could clearly see the guy's face. For some reason, they didn't show me those. Like, he was right up to the camera. And they didn't show me those, which I was like, okay. So, at this point, I was like, all right, I'm already here, so they're trying to see, you know, maybe I know the guy or something. I don't know. I'm just playing along with it now. Um, but, the, I, you know, the, the guy in the video was like way, he was like a foot shorter than I was. I'm 6'5". Um, we did have a similar coat. But when I wore my coat, because I'm taller, um, it only went down to about my knees, maybe a little bit past my knees. On the video, it went all the way down to his ankles. And I pointed that out too, and uh, you know, whatever. So came back later on, took the lie detector test, I took the poly grip test, you know, <laughs> and, um, and I got to see how a lie detector test works. Um, they wrap around your chest, your head, I think, a couple of sensors on the fingers. It's all yes or no questions. You have to fill out a little survey. Is your name John Riggs? And then they ask you these questions later on. Um, they, they asked me the same questions twice. And then we did a, tr a trial thing to see how it looks when I lie. And then and then uh, the, the same questions a, a third time, just for verification. 
Um, so it was like a lot of, you know, is your name John Riggs? Yes. Um, were you born in Yakima, Washington? Yes. Uh, did you break into a blockbuster video? No. Um, and that way they can see what it looks like. And then the final one, was the test was, I thought it was kind of interesting. They're like, you know, write a number from one to five. Or write a number from one to ten. I wrote five. Um, and they're, okay, well, we're going we're gonna to ask you these questions. We're going to ask you if you wrote the number. And then when we say, did you write the number five? I wrote the number five. When you write the number five, uh, lie about it and say you didn't. So I'm gonna lie about. It. I was like, "This is pretty ridiculous," but whatever. And I wrote it, and I'll do it. I'll. I have a pen and paper right here. So, um, so it's like one, five, ten. You know. So they're like, "Did you write the number one? No, two, no, three, no." But then, as they're questioning it, it kind of looked like that, where it's like, "Did you?" I got more and more nervous. And did you write the number five? No, even though I did. Whoa, huge lie there. That's what it looks like when I lie. And. Um, so after this was all over, uh, of course they're like, you know, uh, you know, we we can we we can attest that you didn't do this, you know. Sorry for you. I don't think they I don't think they ever apologized. Blockbuster actually for sure never apologized. Um, I just stopped going. I actually cut up my card and sent it and dropped it off when I put back the rented games. I was like, I ain't coming here again. Excuse me, a lying. Um, although I did have to go back a year later because that's when they got PlayStation games and no other rental place in my area rented PlayStation <laughs> games. So I had to come back there like an idiot. Um, but yeah, that was the time block, block, Blockbuster Video accused me of uh, what basically happened was somebody broke the window, crawled in, they took a television set, they took uh, two Super Nintendos and two Sega Genesis systems. Those were the hot things at the time. Um, a, I already had a Genesis and a Nintendo and a TV, so I didn't need any of those. And, um, and then the kicker was about a year later... About a year later, um, a friend of mine who his mom or someone like that works in the police department. And my friend was like, hey, did you ever hear what happened about that one thing with the Blockbuster thing? As it turns out, if they would have looked closer where the broken glass was when they stole the stuff and left, they cut themselves. And there was basically, literally, according to their words, a trail of blood that went down the street, down the block basically right to the person's house who did steal those items. <laughs> I'm like, seriously, you gonna do this to me? I'm super sick, Graves' disease, hyperactive thyroid, my body's not working quite right as it is. Put me through this stress and, you know, it's like, oh, come on, man. So, anyway, Blockbuster video is closed, so I, I rejoiced when that happened. I have, I have no, I have, I have, I have no, uh, yeah, they, Blockbuster, Blockbuster is not not a good not a good thing for me. Great, Game Crazy is cool. We had a local video store called Crazy Mike's Video. That was my primary you know rental place in the first place. But you know Blockbuster was another you know another idea. But anyway, that's my quick story. Sorry to just ramble on. I just wanted to do a quick video saying like, oh man, um, there was this one time I was arrested and they actually went down in a police car, knocking on my house, saying I broke into Blockbuster and stole some stuff. I was like, really, you're gonna accuse me of all people out of everybody in Yakima? You're gonna accuse me? <laughs> doing this thing. Uh, yeah, well. Whatever. I'm still around. Blockbuster isn't. Except for the one in Alaska. They can keep it. I don't know. It's all good. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, more videos on the way, so I appreciate the subscription, and I, and I uh, thank you for the support in this channel. And I'll do some more videos like this, too, when more things pop up. Um, the Blockbuster thing, it just it popped in my mind the other day when I saw... Um, I, I actually literally have a Blockbuster like t-shirt. It's like, it says, like, Blockbuster Media Team or something like that on the sleeve. But I saw that. I was like, oh, yeah, there's that time that they kind of accused me of breaking and entering and <laughs> got me arrested and took me downtown. I had to sit in a holding cell for a while, too. So I was actually behind the bars in the in the holding cell in the office as they were uh, doing some paperwork to get me there. And that was the other thing, too. At the time, I didn't drive. So after I was done there, I was like... You know, they, they drove me, they drove me, they took me from my home, my house, you know, my parents' house, but my house, to the police station. So afterwards, I was like, so, can I, can you give me a ride home? <laughs> they gave me a ride home, in another police car. So, there's, the, there's that. Anyway, again, thanks again for watching, and uh, take care. We'll see you.